First of all, Spencer, thank you for having me along. It's been great so far. No worries. Thanks for coming. No, thank you. And uh, first of all, you know how you've been? How was the? Uh, how good is it to finally be back? You know, doing the hashtag Academy again. It's great to be back, mate. Um, it's one of my favourite things we do, and I love just meeting all these new people. A lot of them are, are well aware of hashtag already. Some, some not so much. Yeah. And just getting to know them. Um, obviously, some great footballers, yeah. but equally, we meet people like yourself and people off the pitch as well. And it's just really, really rewarding series. Mm. So I really enjoy it. Yeah, no, me personally so far, it's been fantastic, you know, and all thanks to obviously Hashtag and UCFB, you know, I've managed to have this opportunity. Um, you know, why is it great to have UCFB as a partner? You know, how's it been so far? It's amazing, mate, to be honest, because obviously, we, first and foremost, we need partners to make this series work, yeah. right? So on a sponsorship level. But if you're going to actually pick a partner for this series, I can't really think of someone better because, you know, we're talking about young people who love football and we're talking about a football club who uh, kind of break the mould and do things a bit yeah. differently. And also, we, we, we kind of pride ourselves on using this series to give people opportunities on and off the pitch. Yeah. And we've hired people off the back of this series, like Marcus Stamp, I'm sure you've met. So. Yeah. Um, and, and what I think the synergy there with UCFB is obvious because you know, it wasn't around when I was no, you know, yeah. at the age. I've always, there's a very good chance I would have gone there, to be honest. Um, and I think it's really good what they're offering. You know, people like myself, for example, who love the idea of working in football particularly, yeah. but was never going to be a player. So I never had an option. I never had an angle. So I, I went and made an angle and yeah. you know, I was lucky. You know, YouTube and all these things have allowed me to do it. Yeah. But that's not really a path that everyone can take. UCFB is offering other paths, which I, I, I think is great. And um, yeah, it's just it's just a perfect partner for us. Yeah. Well, you mentioned there, obviously, some players, you know, don't get to play at professional level. Um, you know, so how important is it to have a place? You know, UCFB is a great opportunity for people who don't get the opportunity, you know, don't get that chance to play professionally and have a career in sport. Of course, you know, most of us grow up wanting to be a footballer, right? If you love football, that's the best version of the job is to play it. Yeah. But obviously, a tiny, tiny fraction of people get to do that. Even the ones that think they're going to do it and are in the academies often doesn't work out. Uh, but then often, those people that do want to be footballers, they, they love the sport so much, they want to stay within it. Yeah. And traditionally, your options are really like player, coach, maybe physio. That yeah. was it. Yeah. But now the, the football business is so big that the world of football, like every job I've ever had has been involved in football in some way and yeah. I've never been paid to kick a ball. You know, I've worked for a football computer games company. I've worked for a footballer. I've worked for a football production company. And I've essentially made my own football yeah. production company, really. But I've never been paid to kick football. But every money, every penny I've earned has been for football. Yeah. So the sport is so big. And I think what UCFB are doing is they're preparing people for that. Yeah. They're giving people a whole load of options on how they can learn everything around sport. You know, the business side of sport, all the stuff that goes on offside it. Because now, I think more than ever, you're getting specialists. You're getting people that are working and, and being a career, uh, having a career in sport, you know, as executives or whatever. And why not train for that specifically? That's what you want to do. It's perfect. Yeah. You mentioned there, you know, if there was the chance to go to UCFB with uh, also you and you studying at university, what course would you have taken if you were, were to go to UCFB? <laughs> It's tough, you know, because when I went to university, I, I did English literature because I, I couldn't, there was nothing, I chose to do English literature because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I thought I'm going to do something quite broad that sort of leaves things open. But I always, if I had the option of working in football, I would have chosen it. Yeah. So if that was presented to me at that age, I would have not done English lit, for sure. And I would have looked at, okay, well, what, what, what's my specialism? Because I'm a bit of a weird one, really. Like, I am an executive in a business company, but I'm not really a businessman, really. Like, my brother's the businessman in the brains of the operation in that regard. I'm more of a creative... I like to think of myself as more of a creative character anyway. Um, but I've always wanted to run a football club. I've always wanted to run a football club. And it, it, that's not just a hashtag thing. I started a football club when I was 16. I ran my uni football club. Like, I did it all. So something maybe around sport administration or, like, business and sport would have been quite appealing to me, I think. Um, you know, I, I don't know if there's any options in, in things like esports, but like obviously we've got an esports division now, which I think is growing. You know, I mean, I should probably come and do a lecture. To be honest. Yeah, well, why not? <laughs> um, it's just interesting, you know, because I think all universities are similar in the sense that they they're a really good place to get a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience. But then it, it, once you're out there, it does it's a different world as you'll learn when you finish yeah. and. All you can ask of your uni is to prepare you the best where they can. Um, but then it's so much, the learning doesn't stop there, you know. So that's, that's what I would say to anyone that's going to potentially go to UCFB is, if this is what you want to do, I, I don't know of anywhere better to do it. Yeah. Honestly, go and get that, that learning. Get all the experience you can. Do stuff like what Jack's doing here, you know, which is using your own 
extracurricular time to build up your CV. And then when you do get out there and you start applying for jobs, they, they do take that stuff into consideration. It certainly helped me. No, I couldn't agree more. You know, <laughs> but as we've seen today, the women's trials, um, and we've had you know a, a, a student from UCFB, part of the UCFB Academy, along today. Um, I think one of the things I want to touch on is how important is it, you know, UCFB in general is important to have a, as a you know as a partner, but how important is it to have UCFB and hashtag together pushing for you know the growth of the women's game? How can, you know how important is it to grow it? It's very important that, that people kind of do what they can to help the women's game grow. It's great that UCFB are doing that. I'm really happy that we're doing that hashtag. And that's really another thing that's been great to have UCFB involved in this particular series because it's the first one we've done a women's uh, tournament and obviously got a prize. We've got equality in the prize. It's the same cash prize for both men and women. Again, we wouldn't be able to offer that without UCFB. So we really appreciate that support. And we appreciate anyone that is trying to drive the women's game forward. Yeah. For me personally, I'm a football fan. I'm not a men's football fan, I'm a football fan. Yeah. And my life is mo most, mostly centered around men's football because that's all there really was to watch. But that is changing, you know. WSL have just signed a, you know, a massive deal with, with sports broadcasters. We're gonna see more of that on our TV screens, which yeah. is great. So, but the growth of the women's game doesn't just happen at the top flight, it happens from the grassroots up. Yeah. And it happens in an educational standpoint as well. You know, we need more female executives in sport. You yeah. need some females on the boards of things like the FA and all these sorts of things. And you know, people, who knows, someone coming out of UCFB could well be the people that make up these, yeah. these positions one day. So I'm all for it. Yeah. Thank you for watching the behind the scenes and some exclusive content from the Hashtag United Academy Trials. Check out UCFB's socials and websites to find out more information for programs and courses at UCFB. And you know, who knows, you might be here next time.